Hi, I'm Todd. I'm introducing our new tuna strainer, and I'd like to explain to you why. The reason why we created this is because we used to get our tuna in these cans here, and we don't get those anymore. We now get them in a packet, and I'm going to show you why. Oh, it's in a packet. We don't have to strain it. In our recipes, and probably many other cooks, it's still too much water in it. You still have to strain it. So I'll show you how we do that. <clears throat> I'm going to get some gloves. Give me some gloves. So we open it up here. So, I'm going to take the, the new tuna strainer and remove the bottle. Well, I'm not going to remove the bottle, but I'm going to show you that it has a bottle. And the reason why is after we strain the tuna and press it, it will push right out. This is a prototype, though, and it's made by a 3D printer. So, uh, it might be a little bit more difficult because it's more rigid than it would if it's uh, when we uh, do a, 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 a cast. <coughs> Tune in. And press it in there. Try to get all the tune in there. But still in. <clears throat> so you wonder how we we strained them before. Well, before we just had a can. We take the top off. We use the Nimco press, and most everybody in restaurants have these Nimcos. And if they're getting packets now, well, they're pretty much useless, and they're very expensive items. So this way, it is more. Uh, they still can use it, and now we can squeeze this in about three minutes, actually less. And it's fitted to fit the Nimco. And we strain it down, we start the timer. And I'm going to start squeezing, and it already has holes in it. And I'm going to just squeeze it down to give it plenty of pressure. And just slowly do it, let it work. Before, when we use the cans, you had to just squeeze just a little bit so it wouldn't get entrapped the fluids. <clears throat> if the cameraman wants to put it closer to get this, he can. So we're going to keep squeezing. So now we can just keep squeezing. We don't have to do it slowly at all. Which you can. Depends on how dry you want to get it. They all get it as dry as paper. But time is money, right? So we want to get that out. How long has it been so far? 4 minutes 13 seconds. I'm going to let that work. I'm going to grab a can. Yeah, where's the tuna bowl? The bowl. The okay. We'll get that later. Thank you. Two 
two minutes. So it's been about two minutes. I'm going to let it go for about another 30 seconds. Just let it sit there. Once you see you got it good and tight, you don't have to keep going. Alright, I'm gonna start releasing. Slide it out. You'll have a little bit of tuna just le leftovers. You can just squeeze it out of hand if you need to. And then we're going to try to to score it. I said we can push it through. So that's it. Put it squeeze down. You see how dry it is? If you want it drier, just, just leave it in there longer and let it go by itself. So, the tuna can strain. Coming to you soon. Thank you.